Up North Guy here again, going to do an owner product review about the PJ Trailers 18 foot utility trailer. Talk about the features, what I like about it, capacities and dimensions, and then tell you how it's held up over the time I've owned it. All right, I mostly use the trailer for moving my tractor around, but obviously a utility trailer has a lot of uses for mulch, lumber, anything that you need to haul. This one, 18 feet long, 77 inches wide, so it's a little bit more narrow than the normal trailer, typically is around 84 inches, but I liked it because I didn't need that much width on it. I start from the back here. One thing I really like about it is this, this heavy duty lift gate is on here. It's got these reinforced bars here. My tractor goes right up the middle of those uh, things. It sits right on the tire there. It makes it really easy, really sturdy in terms of getting uh, the tractor up in there. It's connected here on the side with two little latches that you pull up in order to get the lift gate down. It's a dovetail, so 18 feet, the last two feet is a dovetail here, which makes a nice transition for low clearance items like the tractor. These are really easy to get up into the bed there. This is about 11 inches here from the bottom of this to the ground, which is a little bit tight in certain areas. You do have to watch the clearance there. Uh, 7,000 pounds gross vehicle weight, two 3,500 pound axles are on here. There's brakes on both axles. Uh, 2,200 pounds empty, so 4,800 pounds worth of cargo. This is something I just did. I put a board on here to just give a little bit of support. I actually have boards that go all the way around the trailer. But it's got a nice system here called the ready rail, which is this thing that's unique to PJ. This is the ready rail right here. Goes around the side of it, all the way to the back. You can see it's got these holes in it here that you can put your uh, little D-rings. So PJ makes a D-ring like this. And it's nice because it's really easy, really easy to pull out, you know, reposition anywhere that you need on the trailer. You got a couple of positions that you can work with here. You know, one, two, and three up here. There's even some on the outside. So this little D-ring is unique to PJ. You got to get it from them. And it comes as a part of this ready rail system. It also has the stake pockets here. So if you just want to drop in any kind of normal heavier duty size D-ring, that's easy to do as well. Um, looking around the front here, you know, seven pin connector for the brakes there is really nice. Got a bulldog uh, jack stand. This is a nice feature to it. It's this Demco uh, connection here. So two inch ball, but this Demco uh, latch here on the trailer is really nice. You just basically you're not monkeying around with trying to push a latch down Like you do on a lot of trailers here when you just want to connect it up You're just going to leave this thing down you move your ball just straight up in there and then that will uh, Connect up easily then to release it all you're doing is just pulling this thing up and then pulling your ball down So it makes it a real simple system to um, hook it up with show you how this connects up using the tractor. I'm just going to move the ball straight up. You see that latch just kind of goes up a little bit and then locks right on there. Real simple. Nothing you're doing there with it at all. You leave it down to get it connected like that. Then you want to take it off. You're just going to come back and pull that latch up. That'll release it. Then drop your ball down and it just drops right out of there. So what do I like about it? Well, I really do like this Demco latch here. It does make it super simple to get it on and off. Uh, I like the ready rail. You know, I, I wouldn't put anything too 
heavy tied to this thing but I do like the ready rail and the flexibility of being able to move these D-rings around to many different places for tie downs. And then if you need something heavy like what I'd use with a tractor, you just have the stake pockets there anyways. That's a, a really great feature. Probably the thing that I like the most about it is this heavy duty lift gate. It really does the job. It feels very solid. It's got this mesh in here. It's not just an open rail system. Did a video about tractor loading, put the link in up here, you can check that out, how you get the tractor into the trailer and then load it up and strap down if you want to know more about that. So how's it held up? I've owned it for about two years now. Pretty much light duty use, I'm not moving the tractor too much, I've done a little bit of utility loading on it, so overall pretty well. I had one issue that was fixed, I'll show you a picture of this, where this board popped up and uh, just kind of was a little bit too short popped up and then warped it was warped that's why it did pop up had to be fixed it was fixed under warranty by pj uh, even though the pj dealer that i bought it from wasn't close to me or there wasn't a pj dealer that was close to me i was able to take it to a different shop and have it fixed under warranty which i thought was uh, a good thing in terms of the, the service with it it's got a little bit of surface rust on it you know on certain spots here not significant not you know unexpected for a utility trailer that's sitting out and getting you know banged around quite a bit when you've got loads in it so i think overall the quality is pretty solid on this trailer and uh i've been really satisfied with it so far i think it's a good choice for anybody looking for a utility trailer so that's it for this one on the pj trailer hopefully this is helpful if you're looking at buying one of these things if you like the video, do me a favor, share it out, drop a comment in there, give it a thumbs up. Check out my channel, Up North Guy. I got more videos about product reviews, how-tos, life and living up here in beautiful northern Michigan.